some of the things that we try to work on, many facets of, uh, of what we do, uh, and it may be small to some folks, but it's big to whoever we're working on. You know, like, like the football field, uh, sports. Sports is big in DeKalb County. If you don't believe it, uh, uh, you go to some of the games or you kind of, uh, if you're not supporting one program as much as you are the other one, you don't hear about it. The Rainsville Library, I'll have to give uh, Byron Ship, uh, the City Fathers, the Rainsville Library Board. Uh, Rainsville has one of the best libraries in the state. It's as good as the big town libraries because Byron Ship had a vision. You had a board and City Fathers and others that we all pitched in. Uh, we've just got through uh, uh, making available uh, representative uh, uh, Greason and I make made substantial amount. I can't remember. Two hundred twenty thousand. Two hundred twenty thousand within the last few months, within this this past year, available for a major expansion there, and they're doing one heck of a good job. It's moving now. Are you chairman of that board now, David? No, sir. I'm just a liaison to that board. We're all right. Finishing that project probably next month. Sir. Okay, and it's something that you all can be proud of. Uh, what do you? Uh, it's a children's wing. Yes. Uh, but it, that's a very, very nice facility. And just uh, in uh, the Board of Education, they've had, we've had a major expansion over there. I put money into paving and various other parts of that. In fact, uh, this past year, we were able to bring back more than a million dollars for educa extra things for education here in this county. Uh, now, that's, uh, that's significant and uh, your children, your grandchildren, and my grandchildren will see uh, benefits from those things. We, we must always be uh, stressing taking care of our children and our, our seniors. Those are two groups of folks that it's critical. The Ag Center, I don't know exactly where, I think we're getting pretty close, but uh, starting back with Mayor Sanderson, uh, I've brought back several hundred thousand dollars to put into that. Uh, so I think we're getting close. Now, what will be the, roughly the total cost of that project? The, the entire project by the time it's finished, about $11 million. About $11 million. Now, we're talking about an agri center complex that you all will be proud of. Now, this is not something that uh, I don't know if there will be anything else in the state like it, right? There's not. There's not. We're talking about having uh, horse shows, cattle shows, and uh, it's not just having shows, but They'll have enough stables there to take care of when people come from other states, bringing their horses in. You've got, uh, th th this is going to be something. This will bring in tourism to Sand Mountain like we have not seen, and, and it'll be right here. Uh, but when we started the, uh, the complex, we, we kept it uh, bigger than, uh, it, it would be easy to talk about just to take care of Rainsville in the surrounding area. We never thought about that. We talked about something bigger from the very concept. Uh, start multi-county, even multi-state, something that, uh, and it's taken a long time. You know, we could have settled and we could have pulled off the little small complex five years ago, but something that uh, will be uh, beneficial to the area for years to come and generations uh, is about to become uh, fruition. Uh, fire department, we always are having to get some additional money to help our fire departments uh, with equipment, et cetera, et cetera. The sewer system, uh, I've already talked about the sewer system, but I am very, very proud. Thank you, Councilman, for having that, uh, what I told them initially, and, and they were not hard to persuade. You know, uh, instead of uh, not wanting to, uh, none of them felt that way, but if the people in Powell's, the people in Sylvania, uh, there's not, uh, there are not fast food restaurants there. They're gonna do most of their trading in Rainsville anyway. Let's all be one people and we'll all help each other. And it's working out really, really good. Uh, uh, road projects, of course, we've been, Constantly working with the city uh, on repaving projects, uh, street projects. Uh. There's something, just just little improvements that get constantly made. Uh, the DeKalb Annex. Now there was there was a lot of effort, a lot of political wrangling. That was not easy, was it, Roy? 
we'll see uh, stuff like that in, in the, the Board of Education. The Board of Education wouldn't be here if the, uh, the city hadn't, uh, the city fathers hadn't had a bigger view of things and uh, been willing to help uh, furnish the building. And uh, there's no reason ever for the DeKalb County school system, uh, central office, uh, the bus garage, and all to be in Fort Payne because Fort Payne's got their own school system. It needed to be out in the county that it served. And that's not anything against Fort Payne. It's just, it'd be about the same thing as the Fort Payne school system's central office and all being located somewhere out in the county. That wouldn't make sense. Uh, but uh, working together, we were able to move all that. Uh, working together, we was able to get the machinery and, uh, and open the uh, probit and, uh, and the tax assessor annex. I showed this over in uh, Mentone in Valley Head, and I said, now, what has it got to do with you all? It's over in Rainsville. And I said, let me explain to you. It takes uh, the traffic that would have come off the mountain at the courthouse. It would have stood in, uh, caused you all to stand in line for hours and hours. They're out at Rainsville being served, and you don't have to stand in line. And that's the way it helps uh, because it, it takes a lot of the traffic out of the courthouse. This uh, is kind of a sad situation. Uh, most of you will remember when this is the gentleman who was who works down at uh, Woodson Jones Chevrolet. Uh, he was hit head on by a couple of teenagers that had stolen a vehicle and were fleeing, eluding the police. If y'all will recall, over near the uh, high school, I looked into that at the time, and I was standing there talking with him. We're working on legislation. Fleeing the police today is only a, a, a misdemeanor. It's not a felony. I, it's, a misdemeanor is just like uh, a small traffic uh, ticket or whatever. That's a misdemeanor. Uh, I felt like that that's such a heinous thing. When you, you start fleeing uh, the police, you endanger people's lives. So I drafted legislation. I got it through one of the houses last session. I didn't get it completely passed, so I'm going to keep working on that. But it there we are meeting there on the, uh, at Rainsville at the police annex uh, with the chief, uh, Todd Greason, Representative Greason, the sheriff, and various chiefs from around the county helping uh, give each department some money to buy equipment, et cetera. Now, Todd Greason, my colleague in the house that represents this area, does a super job, great to work with. We're on different parties, but it is not about being about the party. Once we get elected, it's about helping people. It don't matter if they're black, white, Republican, Democrat. It's about doing the job. And uh, Todd and I work in that, uh, that uh, manner, and uh, politics don't come into it. We don't need to. Uh, we just need to, uh, when we're running for office, that's when we need to run on one party or the other because that's our American system. Once we get elected, we need to be about helping people. And that's exactly what we're doing there, working on projects together.